winterizing the diesel engine in the yard here and uh, running some fresh water through it. I hate to run the engine for a short time because of startup condensation in the motor. So I, I do let it run for a good long time. That's a cockpit scupper right there, draining um, water overflow from the five gallon bucket. And uh, we'll head up into the cockpit and I can show you what the in-out bucket looks like. Letting the engine run. She's up to temp. But I like to let her run for a good long time. So this is this is the in-out bucket here. Basically what it is, you have the clear hose uh, with a valve on the end of it, runs off to the engine, intake, and then you fill the bucket with a garden hose. And I put one of those valves on the end of it uh, so you can adjust the flow if you need to. Yeah, I just put a couple clamps on the bucket just to hold them in place. But uh, when I do this in the cockpit, I don't care if it overflows, so no real need to balance it. Take a look at uh, how the engine end works. A little hard to get down in without the ladder. And it's loud. Here's the hose. This uh, was the intake. Runs over the intake seat on. Just disconnect this. Put the clear hose all the way up into the cockpit and into the bucket. They just uh, run the engine long enough to burn off any startup condensation and really uh, get her good and warm. The One of the key things that you want to be careful of when you're running an in-out bucket is uh, the siphon brake for your engine. Mine is right here. Um, this goes off to the uh, muffler, water injection elbow, and uh, on that side of it. When you shut off the engine, this allows a vacuum to, uh, to break the vacuum so you can't siphon and fill the exhaust and flood the engine. But because this hose here, right now, is higher than this point, when you shut off the engine, you need to be very careful that you either immediately pull this hose out of the bucket, or, uh, as I've done, I put on a valve so that I can't flood the engine by siphoning from the bucket and into the engine, which can't happen. Because impellers and impeller pumps are not positive shutoff devices. And uh, depending on where those veins stop, or if you had a broken vein, you could very easily flood your engine and do what's called hydrolocking, you know, which, which you just don't want to do. So always look at the location of your siphon brake and uh, never connect the garden hose directly to the engine or you will hydrolock your engine, meaning you get water into the cylinders and you'll seize the motor. And then you'll have to either pull the glow plugs or the uh, fuel injectors so you get the water out of the cylinders, probably do multiple oil changes, and then run the engine for a long, long, long time to burn off any uh, any moisture that would have gotten in there. So you know, always be conscious of this location versus the high point here because you can start a siphon.